Hi everyone, welcome to episode 26 of the Holistic Back Health series. Today we're going to do another short exercise routine for your hip mobility. So today in this um, mobility routine, we will focus on the muscles of rotation, which operate in the transverse plane. That means um, especially with the hip muscles, all the uh, muscles that are um, responsible for hip external rotation, so when you move the hip outward, or internal rotation, when you move it inward. We want to start by loosening up those muscles, which are on the insides of your thigh, and then on the outsides, the whole, um, the whole gluteus muscle um, of your butt cheeks. So grab your stick and place it on one butt cheek. And now what you do is um, you're gonna rub in pretty rapid movements and make sure that the muscle isn't um, tensed up, but it's already in a, in a relaxed state. So don't contract it, but keep it, um, keep it soft. And then try to go and find a spot that feels a little bit uncomfortable and then you can press it a little harder and try to loosen up that area a bit more and go from the outside of that hip and then to the back side of your, of your pelvis. Try to get the whole gluteus muscle really loosened up and then switch over to the other butt cheek. I'm gonna turn around, see it this way. You might feel a difference between right and left. Or even if you don't feel anything, that's totally fine. Just um, bring some more blood into that area which already um, loosens up those muscles and the fascia so that it gives you more mobility for the exercises that we're gonna do. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the inside of your, of your hips. So position it on the inside and then really get it loosened up, increase the blood flow in that area and try to only stay in the upper part of your thigh. You don't have to go all the way down to the knee this time. Let's do 10 more seconds. All right, and then switch over to the other side. And as always, if you um, feel like your, your, your clothes are limiting you then, and you're alone at home, you can do it um, without pants on. And if you do, then put some cream underneath or on top of your skin and that makes it easier. Let's last five seconds. Four, three, two, one, all right, great. Now get down on your mat and get into a half kneeling position, with one leg in front um, and a 90 degree angle here. And now we want to work the outside of that thigh. So for that, you have the stick um, in the other hand on the other side and you, you bring that um, foot a little bit inward while bringing the other one forward a little bit. So that knee is very close to the heel of the, of the front leg. And now you try to bend that leg over, bring the knee down as far as possible, and you will feel that um, you get an, a stretch in the outside of your hips. Stay in that position, and if you don't feel anything, you can bring the foot in a little bit more, or you can try to sit down a little bit more. If you, ha if you use your hand pushing it down, that's totally fine too, but make sure your toes are pulled towards your knee. You don't have your foot pointed. So pull it towards your knee as far as possible. Press down a little bit, stay in that position, continue breathing. And if you're able to, you can position the stick in front of you and then lean forward a little bit. That will put a bit more emphasis on your gluteal muscles here. And if, if it's even possible for you, you can also always try to get into the P 
pigeon pose that you might know from yoga. But for that, you try to have the stick on the other side now and try to stay upright. So you have the one um, knee in front of you, have the shin, if possible, leveled with your pelvis and then stay here, stay upright, focus on breathing and really feel the stretch on the outside of the hip and maybe even on um, your front hip of the other side. Last five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, let's switch over to the other side. Move the foot in again. Keep the stick on that side now. And then bend it over and try to bring that knee a little bit closer to this knee and try to sit back while you push your knee down. Stay here. And if you want, you can bring the stick in front, move your upper body down, try to keep your um, whole spine straight. And if you want to, you can also bring the stick over to the other side and then get into, you see I'm struggling with this a little bit, um, and try to get into this pigeon pose with an upside upper body. Stay here, focus on breathing. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Shake it off a little bit. And now we do the opposite. So you stay in that position again. And you now want to bring the knee inward. It, it might look a little bit weird. And um, if you have knee problems, then you maybe you don't want to do it too much. Or just go to the point where you don't feel any pain. But make sure that you move the knee in as far as possible while you keep it leveled with your foot, right? You don't want to bring it towards you or push it forward, but keep it leveled. And then just, just turn the knee in, but make sure that your pelvis stays leveled. So you don't want to rotate your pelvis, you wouldn't feel anything. Try to keep your um, pelvis leveled and then just move the front knee in. Try to stay upright. And same here, if you want, you can bring the stick in front of you and Move your body, your upper body forward a little bit. And now it looks weird. <laughs> it might even feel weird, but you want to feel um, that you're the inside of your hip. And, and maybe, maybe you, you, you can even feel a little, um, a little pinging in your hip. That is okay here. Stay for another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it off. Let's switch sides. Same on the other side, you bring the knee in, stay upright. And make sure that foot is really um, out, so you don't want to have it in. Keep it out and then let the knee sink in. And if you want, bring the stick in front, move your upper body forward a little bit and focus on breathing. Last five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, great. Now you position one foot on the thigh of the other leg and um, you stand upright at first. If you have problems with your balance, you can keep um, the stick on the outside where, where, the, where the leg is up. Um, but if you don't, then you can bring it in front of you and you can first try to stay upright and use the other hand to push your knee back a little further. Bend the knee you're standing on a little bit. Try to get upright, tall in your spine. And if you want, you can move your upper body forward. Again, always try to elongate your spine so you push the stick forward while you push your hips back, stay here, focus on breathing. 
find your balance and let's stay for another five seconds four three two one all right shake it off switch over to the other side one leg up on top of the thigh push the knee out stand upright first and then if you want to lean forward make sure the knee is really pushed back make sure your toes are pulled towards your knee bring the stick forward elongate your spine and if you don't feel anything here you can even go down a little further so the further you go down the further you bend your knee the more you will feel a stretch in the outside of your hip last five seconds four three two one all right check it off your last exercise will be a little bit of a weird one again because now it's again the internal um, hip movement for that you get into a squat position but have your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and you now bend your knees bring your hips back as far as possible and with the stick in front of you you now when you when you reach your lowest position can be here it's totally fine but the the further you go down the better and then in that position you bring your knees together i know it looks weird try to keep um, the whole foot on the floor bring the knees together as far as you can try to stand upright in your upper body and focus on breathing and elongating your spine again sit back you might feel a little impinging in the hips again you might feel the stretch on um, the outsides of your thigh and that your inner thigh muscles are getting engaged stay here last five seconds and try to move your knees in even more again if you feel pain in the knee you don't want to do this but if not then it's totally okay it's totally fine to 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 get your knees into that position so the last three two one all right shake it off and we're done with this part and um, you might again feel that your rotational muscles are, are loosened up now um, which helps preventing your lower back from rotating too much so the more you have your your hip muscles um, flexible especially in, in rotation the, the less your lower back has to compensate for that and the lower back is not made for that much rotation that's why these exercises are important i hope you like this video and if you want to um, continue watching the series make sure you hit the subscribe button and you also push the notification bell and leave me a comment if you have any questions um, i'm very happy to answer them for you see you in the next episode bye bye